I am doing HK Game Euro and today we will be flying the ILS approach runway 33 in a, on Birmingham and I, and, I will, and I will be teaching you guys how to do it. So if, you, if we open up plan G here we can see that this is Birmingham and we will be coming in from the Coven 3 VRP over here we, and we will be flying towards uh, this VOR and then we will come in like this and then we will intercept the ILS and follow the ILS approach all the way down to the runway so I hope you guys enjoy so guys we are up in the airplane and I'm going to put the ILS frequency to the active and you can see that the ILS needles have, has already start to come alive so when you know what direction you want to fly you're just gonna keep on flying that direction until the ILS path starts to until the localizer starts to come alive and the localizer is that little needle that's right there when that starts to turn you want to turn with it so I'll just I'll uh, catch you guys when uh, that is starting to come alive so that needle is now starting to come alive so what you want to do, you want to turn with that needle so you, now you want to turn to a heading of 3-3 three, three. so you line up with that needle and when you line up with that needle like we are now we are in the same direction as the runway so we are now actually lined up with the runway but we cannot see it yet so what we want to do now is that we want to wait for the glide slope because now we are too low for the glide slope you see when the needle is higher the glide slope needle is higher it means we are too low and if that low glass needle is to the left we are to the right of the runway and if this to the right we are a bit, little bit more much to the left so but now we are actually really well lined up with the runway but we are still way too low, so we'll just wait for that to get active and then we will follow that down to the runway. So we can see that we are now a little bit to the right of the runway because that localized needle is starting to go to the left. So then just turn with it to the left and it should start to come back to the middle. There we go. And then just line up again. And there we go. So what I will now you can see we are too much to the left of the runway, so this is pretty much a worst scenario landing because it's so low visibility. But now you can see that also the low the glide slope is active. So now just try and fly with that one as well. So our height is pretty good now, but our heading is really perfect yet so we'll turn a little bit left here and we should see the runway pretty soon I am a little bit to the left of the runway though let's see if I can line up now the glide slope looks pretty good and we are pretty much lined up with the runway so now we are a little bit too high the glide slope, so just take the nose a little bit down. And this is you just have to correct like this until we have a visual on the way. It should happen pretty fast. There it is. You can already see the runway lights over there. So we have made it to the runway guys. Now just keep on looking at looking at the VOR1 indicator but now that we have quite good uh, visual on the runway don't want to flaps we can just do just land like you would land a a VFR flight so now the glide slope and localizer is pretty much fully aligned so that means that we are right in front of the runway and we are at the correct altitude and if we take a look after the window 
we can see that we are pretty much close to the runway. So just line your airplane as usual, like I will do now. Now over at Echo Golf Bravo Bravo Birmingham, it's a pretty long runway, so don't have to land just at the start. Ooh, come on, get down. Oh, that was Baffler. We are down. So, guys, not the best landing you ever seen, but it was a pretty nice ILS approach. So, the most important thing is that we made it down. So now I will just go and taxi and park this Cessna. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video or whatever I'm gonna make. Bye.